it has taken me a while to get out of bed this morning just because I felt so lazy but there was a knock on my door and oh my god <laughs> I can't believe this package is here it's so early it's uh okay it's not so early hi baby hi it's um 10 a.m right now and I placed this order yesterday at about noon from coach outlet so I can't believe it is here <laughs> It's here! This is what I just received. I bought it from Coach Outlet yesterday. If you're in Canada, Coach is having a sale for the long weekend. Um, you're probably not going to see this. By the time you see this video, it'll probably be already over. Take a guess, what do you think it is? Hint is, I already have this exact same style in my collection, but it's a different color, and it's from Coach Outlet. Hi guys, welcome to the, um, Mar no, what month are we? <laughs> may vlog may yes welcome to the may vlog i i'm just waking up so <laughs> at least i'm finally awake it's been a nice easy slow day for me today is friday um i'm off of work today so i have a very long weekend because monday is a holiday here in alberta it's victoria day um so I have a four-day weekend basically and so I decided I was gonna take it easy this morning I probably may not have gotten out of bed if it wasn't for the knock at my door this morning when the delivery guy came so I'm actually very excited to open up that box um maybe I'll share it with you guys later in this vlog but I'm actually about to um, film a video and then after that my son and I are going to be going out for an appointment that he has he's going to get some blood work done and then I think we're going to pop over to the dollar store i need to pick up just one thing <laughs> so hopefully in this trip i do pick up just one thing because whenever i go to the dollar store i never ever ever pick up just one thing and then we might go to winners to see what new handbags they have in and then after all of that i'll be unboxing the bag i also have a pair of slides to unbox summer faves summer must have and you guys are going to love seeing that they're from steve madden so yeah i'm very excited two unboxings and possibly a walkthrough in this vlog this is my outfit of the day i'm wearing this um alia t-shirt I got it from Winners. Very nice. I love that um, acid wash type look. And then I'm just wearing a pair of biker shorts. Um, let me show you actually the full outfit. So this is the full outfit. Um, Aliyah t-shirt, biker shorts uh, from Walmart. I have my Karl Lagerfeld Agnes crossbody here, the shoulder bag. I'm actually going to wear it like this. Typically, I wear it on my shoulder with the straps doubled up. So this is the first time I'm going to wear it like this because I'm like, yes, I need to I need to try it in different ways. And yeah, this is basically going to be my outfit for everything that we're going to be doing today. So I have my setup ready. I'm about to start filming. I'm going to be talking about my rogues. If you haven't seen this video, which is probably already up by the time you're watching this vlog, I will link it below. It is about the coach rogue so i will link that video in the description box below and then here are the two packages which we are going to be unboxing in a bit all right and we are out of the house let our errand running begin hi everybody <laughs> you can't see me maybe. yes they can see you oh. you're right there okay. <laughs> hi <laughs> hi okay so we're going to the mall I want to go check out some shoes at Arden, Ardeen. Canadians, how do you guys say? Do you say Arden or do you say Ardeen? I say either one, honestly, depends. Uh, so yeah, I need to go that there uh, to check out some shoes. Uh, and then of course, we're gonna go to Winners. Do you guys wanna come to Winners? We're gonna check and see if they have any new finds in the bag section. Uh, I might check furniture, I'm not sure. Okay, we're at the mall. Finally, cold air. It's really hot, eh? It's about 30 degrees right now, so let's go into winners. 33 degrees. 33, right. Fine. Looks like they just got a bunch of guests in. Guest handbags. Plus. How much are these? 89 bucks. Like a cores for 200. Oh, I like these. Loving the bag selections on this table. Look at this. Just 
look, this is Karl Lagerfeld. Tell me this doesn't look like the business affinity. This is totally the Chanel business affinity look-alike. And I love it. It's so pretty. So this one is original price $4.98 and uh, winner's price $1.50. Very pretty. I love the color too. I love the brass. I think it's an older Karl Lagerfeld style, but it's so pretty. This is the Agnes. This is the Agnes. I have this one in gold and black, but I think it's smaller than this one. This is 150 and look at this one. This is stunning. Look at that oil slick hardware. And then the Carl. Oh, this is a stunning bag. I do not need a black bag. I do not need a shoulder bag. This is 130, but this is so pretty. Do you want to open it and show us what it looks like on the inside? Yeah. Well, look, okay, so two compartments. It does. Does it come with a dust bag? Mm, yes, it comes with a dust bag. And there's also in the room. Yep. Look at what it says here. It says, elegance is an attitude. Carl Lagerfeld. Beautiful. I think this is a stunning, stunning bag. Um, yeah, I think it's so pretty. I've never seen. I don't know what this style is called. Yeah, I'll Google it and try to find out, but it's so pretty. Yeah. Let me take a picture. And then they have a tote. And look at this guy. This is yeah. really big. I wonder how much this is. This is $100. Look, they have some Mica Kors. Let's see how much. 200 for Michael Kors outlet? No. I think that's a bit much. And here is a coat tote. 180. Again, a little bit pricey for an outlet tote. Michael Kors one again. Oh, yeah, I know. It's, it's really nice, but like for 180 at a discount store? No, no, thank you. I like this. This one looks like Ferragamo for 40 bucks. I like this. Oh, okay. Looks like a Hermes Birkin. I like this. You like the backpack? Okay, it's Aldo. They have quite the number of beach hats. And oh, I like this with a pearl detail. This is nice. $17. Yep, summer's around the corner. Pretty. Um, summer bag. This is huge. This is 40 bucks by Majid. This is very cute. Very big. So I couldn't film in winners as much as I wanted to because there were a number of people there. It's mu it was much more busy than um, I thought it was gonna be. Maybe because we came later in the day than usual. I just got out of Arden. The shoes didn't fit me as well as I wanted them to and they're so pretty. They're like these denim um, sandals so nice so I thought I would get that for summer because we know denim is in but they didn't fit me right so sadly I had to let them go very sad about that it's one of my favorite sections at the dollar store like all of the beauty stuff this is what I came to get powder this I bought one and it's pressed powder but like white and I liked it so I came to buy two more because the thing with beauty products at the dollar store is you find it one day and when you come back the next time, it's no longer there, right? So, yeah, I love it. Look at this cute gel lamp that they have. This is so cute. It's UV. Wow, that's interesting that they have these at the dollar store now. Bridal emergency kit. You get one in pink and one in white. I wish they had it in blue, so it could be like here's something blue. Let's see what else they have. This little guy likes the toothbrush section because he likes to get like fun little toothbrushes. And then these littles, they're so good for travel. Like here or Walmart is always, I've actually never seen this before. What is this? This is a nail brush. This is very nice. And you have all the little toothbrushes and the soap cases and hair wash and creams and stuff like that. So pretty, pretty neat. 
These ones are so cute. You can use them for so many things like brushes, paint brushes, hair clips in your bathroom, in your bedroom. You can use them for candles, of course, that's what they're for. And these ones too, so high end. We should get paint. Don't bite the waxes. Yeah, don't buy the waxes. You could buy the candle holders, you could buy the LED tea lights, but not the waxes. They have Canada Day stuff out now. Summer's here. Lots of crayons. Maybe take markers? Well, you could wash them out. You, could wash. Hmm. you like those ones? You like the colors in those ones? Yeah, maybe. Look at these. These are so cool. I need these for my bathroom, for um, my beauty products. This would be really good for some of my beauty products. I'll take one and I'll show you guys what I do with it. I like it. Look at these. These are in the school section. They're organizers. I'm pretty sure you could use it like in your drawers or in your bathroom or in your office. For a variety of things. This is why I love the dollar store. Oh, wow, they have poly nailers here now. It's three. It's a three pack for a dollar fifty. That's cool. So my next favorite aisle. How many favorite aisles do I have at this point? <laughs> my next favorite aisle is the kitchen aisle because you can find like so many nice things, like the mugs, and they're all a um, dollar fifty. They used to be a dollar twenty-five, and then they increased the price to a dollar fifty. So this is um, Canadian dollars we're talking about now. So you can find so many. Look at this green. Gosh, this is so beautiful. I love that. I love that. It's so pretty. You could always buy these. Like you can never have too many plastic containers. And you could always buy this and use them. I have so many of them that my son takes to school and he always loses them. <laughs> yeah, so really good for sure. And then all of these, it's the summer, so you know, the cookouts and things like that, the barbecues. Yeah, it's a great place to, to get those for sure. Hmm. So we're gonna get some clips. This is three clips for $1.50. Yeah, you you can, or you can get the bigger ones or the tinier ones. Yeah, I definitely for sure love the kitchen section. We need clips because we didn't have any more for a long Yep, now we have some. So what else do we need here? Um, I need some wooden spoons and stuff for sure. Wooden spoons. Right there. I like this one. Oh, look Someone at this. has gotten his blood work done. How was it, buddy? Uh, terrible. <laughs> he says terrible, but anyways, let's go. We're walking back to the car now. We're gonna go home and um, unbox something. Good morning, guys. It is now. Saturday. I had another lazy morning. So it's actually already midday. Oh my gosh, the weekend is flying by so fast. I don't know why it always happens like that when you have long weekends. It's like zoom and it's all gone. It's like, where did my long weekend go? Anyways, as promised, I have unboxings to share with you guys. First item is from Steve Madden. I got this off of Amazon. It is, of course, available on the Steve Madden website, but I found out that buying it from Amazon Canada, I'm not too sure about the US, I'll double check, but buying it from Amazon Canada, I did save about $20. I think on the Steve Madden website, it was about $100 or thereabout, and I bought these for about 70 something, so I saved a little bit of change, and I will link this pair as well as the other pairs they have available for sale on Amazon in my description box below. So I now have an Amazon storefront. So I will leave the link to my entire storefront so you can see all of the items I have linked or um, shared, curated on my storefront. But I also leave this specific item um, linked below as well. So I'm actually very, very excited. I'm a little bit out of breath because <laughs> I just finished doing some chores. But yeah, I'm very excited for these because they're quite popular for the summer. These are a dupe and we all know that Uncle Steve does the best dupes <laughs> uncle D uncle steve dupes every single thing okay so 
um, these are the best dupes I've seen so far for the very popular Dior slides and these ones are in the color black and uh, light brown so like a sand brown these are so so cute I can't wait to start wearing them I might wear them today I'm wearing blacks so I think it'll go really nice um, this is a size 10 I believe I bought a size okay 9.5 this is a size 9.5 and it comes so why i like these ones maybe even better than the luxury designer version so these are dior dupes um but on the dior version it says kristen dior and i like these because it doesn't say steve madden like we all know that uncle steve be duping something sometimes and splashing his name all over the thing and yeah it doesn't look nice so i'm very happy that they didn't put steve madden on the slides instead um, different colorways have different cities on them so this one says St. Bart's uh, there's some that say Paris some say um, Saint-Tropez and you know different nice vacation get spots so I really like these um, I haven't worn them yet so I don't know how comfortable they'll be but I know Steve Madden shoes are typically or usually very very comfortable so I'm very happy to have gotten this it actually took me some time to get them it took about three weeks for them to get to me I was on a wait list on Amazon like it was crazy but yeah these are what they look like on the back and I just like that colorway I am not sure if I'm going to get a second pair because I did see the one that was um, navy and I like that colorway I like navy I think that was the one that had Paris on it but these these are really nice I like it very awesome for um, vacation these would be nice with a raffia or straw or canvas um, tote <gasps> wait let me get my makeup course look at that what do you guys think <laughs> i just might wear this today just look oh wow it's gonna make like a cute outfit but of course you can wear these with anything because they're very very neutral so i wouldn't wear them with just like a bag like this to match or clothing to match like you can they're so neutral you could literally wear this with any color at all so question for you guys because these are neutral these are items in neutral colorways would you consider them quiet fashion? <laughs> because I know there's all the thing about quiet luxury and loud luxury and all of that. I mean, Steve Madden is not exactly a brand that you call a luxury designer. I don't even think you can call Steve Madden a designer brand. Correct me if I'm wrong. But these are in neutral colors. These are very simple. So is this quiet fashion? <laughs> I don't know the whole quiet and loud luxury debate has just been funny to me because I feel like it's very cultural hear me out okay so um, the whole as far as I'm concerned it's a trend it's a trend because quiet luxury or dressing in a certain way that is deemed quiet luxury has always been around it's basically dressing in a minimalistic fashion uh, without logos, without identifiable um, elements on your clothing, on your accessories, and in neutral colors. That is not new. It's been around for centuries. People have been dressing like that forever, okay? It is now very popular, which makes it a trend. And I think it's only popular now because fashion goes in cycles. Last year, two years ago, Y2K was all the trend, 90s. And all of that so it has now circled back into minimalist fashion that's my opinion on that who knows by in the next two years we may be back to logos we may be back to loud colors I know right after the pandemic we went into dopamine dressing so loud colors were it everybody was wearing pop of colors oranges purples we still see we're still seeing some of those colors this year but if you notice the colors for spring and summer this year so your oranges your pinks they're not as bright as they were last year or as two two years ago they're a little bit more toned down they're not pastel but they're a little bit calmer than last year's and two years ago right so it's just that cycle of fashion so if everybody's saying oh you shouldn't wear logos anymore logos are tacky you shouldn't wear colors anymore wear neutrals that's how people know that's quiet luxury um people who have people who are wealthy don't wear things like that people who are wealthy don't dress like that in which culture in my nigerian yoruba culture wealthy people wear reds 
and gold i think red gold and purple are probably the most popular color to signify wealth in my culture not so much purple but gold definitely gold and red so so who, who are we talking about you have earthy rich saturated earthy tones and that is what they used in way back when to make the dyes that they used to make our traditional fabrics so you had rich purple rich indigo rich blue dyes you had golden brown dyes you had red dyes those were the colors they had and those were the fabrics that were made for the rich people is it quiet maybe not but is it luxury yes i don't even think there was anything that i can liken to quiet luxury because not in my culture luxury is never quiet you would know <laughs> if we're going strictly by fashion and dressing you would know that's it it was never quiet so i i think that the idea of um quiet luxury is very specific to certain cultures that's not to say that it's a bad thing i love like if you've been watching my channel for a while you would know that i love to wear neutrals i love to wear blacks i said it that this year my color for the year is uh beige bone um like biscuits colors ivories i said those are the colors that go with my skin tone the best and i have a lot of that in my closet one of the reasons why i like Karl Lagerfeld um, paris so much is because their aesthetic the colors they use for their uh, ready to wear are gray white and black and i really identify with those colors and that's why i buy a lot of their clothes that is what i have always liked so it is not a trend for me. I'm not wearing things like that or I'm not buying things like that just because I want to look a certain way. At the end of the day, the way we dress, the things we wear, the things we buy, it's really up to our individual preferences. I don't think you should let trend sway you. If you're not a neutral person, please embrace your colors. Wear your colors. If you like logos, wear your logo. Again, I just think the way we use the word luxury is also very different for multiple people. And that's kind of like why I don't like doing opinion videos on my channel. There's a lot of things that happen in the industry. There's a lot of uh, topics that pop up from time to time that people then hop on and do video after video. And I really don't like doing that because passing commentary on certain things is really it's very opinion based and everybody has a right to their opinion and everybody will certainly have different opinions and so when if i were to sit down and film a commentary video it's almost like i'm talking to people but they're not talking back to me so we're not having a two-way conversation so we're not able to bounce around ideas and a lot of things can be taken out of context i can just make one sentence and someone will misconstrue what i'm saying because they can't ask a follow-up question i can't explain myself further you know just things like that so i really don't like making commentary videos but in this particular topic i would just i just thought i would say something because i just feel that like style is personal um the whole quiet luxury thing is a trend as far as i'm concerned it is a trend it will pass like every other trend but for those who that is their true style it will always remain a constant for them anyway those are my two cents on the issue wear whatever you want wear what makes you happy wear discover your personal style and stick to that trends will come and go and of course you can buy into those trends if they align with your style if you want to try them out or if you're shifting styles that's fine but at the end of the day what will always remain constant is your personal style and no one should ever make you feel bad for whatever it is that you have determined is your personal style and that is the same way that you should not make anybody else feel bad for what they have determined is their personal style as well so let me unbox the second item this i got from the sale the ongoing victoria day sale at coach outlets uh coach canada specifically it was this item was already on clearance um, for 60% off and then there's an extra 20% off uh, for the sale so how many of you guessed correctly at the beginning of this video I remember saying you can guess and I gave you two hints I said it was from coach outlet and I said um, it's an item I already have so I'm wondering <laughs> if you guys were able to actually guess I'm so excited so um three years ago i wanted the small town bag in a similar color 
they had one but they had one with stripes at the bottom and i did not want a bag with any patterns on it i wanted a plain colored bag and so i didn't buy that small town tote and i love the small town totes so i bought the plain green version instead and i said you know what i will wait patiently until coach outlet makes me a blue that i love in the small town tote well i have now falling out of love with the small town tote <laughs> not out of love but i have a new favorite and my new favorite from coach outlet is the molly 25 i'm sure you guys already know that and so <laughs> i bought a molly 25 so yeah you already know it is a molly 25 honestly oh wow look at that packaging did you guys see the bed the pillow that they made for the bag right there honestly if i if my handbag collection morphs into just sammy's and molly's totes you guys shouldn't be surprised <laughs> because i think at this point i have found what i like and it is the molly totes 25s and the sammy's regular size sammy's not the 21 they're making the 21s now it's a new style this to me i think it's too small for what i like like the sammy is already a small size bag so why make it smaller like if i want a tiny bag i have tiny bags in my collection so yeah i have to say it in person though so I'm not gonna say never but let me see it in person first but yeah i think like if you guys in the future notice that my handbag collection is all sammy's molly 25s and just tiny bags then i i found i found what i love so here it is uh 60 percent off on clearance so it is a spring color so they're now in that tr transition period between seasons and this color was recently added to the clearance section so whenever there is a sale um at the outlets two places you should always always be checking the clearance section and the reserves two sections to get things on sale so you get an extra percent off so at the end of the day and i was monitoring the price for this so i know for a fact that they did not increase the prices i know sometimes when coach outlet has sales they um will increase the price before they add the sale discount but they didn't do that here because i had been monitoring this particular item wow nicely packed honestly my essays my essays are gems like look at how well packed this is and so this is the molly 25 in leather um original price or estimated original price 460 so i ended up paying 153 dollars 54 cents after tax i remember when the molly two years ago this size molly on clearance was about 100 dollars. i'm not kidding you like at 70 percent off was like 100 dollars, and two years later 80 percent off is 150 dollars. i mean So let me show you what color it is because honestly it is just I saw it in person the last time I went into the store so I have an idea of what the color looks like I hope it is still as beautiful as I remember it because <laughs> I really really love this color okay okay so this is the molly 25 in the color waterfall with silver hardware guys guys ah uh, uh, that caught this uh, this is definitely going to be my work bag for the next week let me show you up close That's the side. We all know what a Molly 25 looks for looks like by now. I have lots of colors. Um, lots of videos. I'm confused. <laughs> this bag is so pretty, I'm confused. I have lots of videos on the Molly 25 on my channel. I will link them below if you want to go and see that. But um, yeah, just look at the interior of this bag. This is gorgeous. Look at that color. A beautiful. Imagine opening your bag and this is what you see. Such a beauty. Ah oh my gosh look at that hardware look at that hardware on this bag so beautiful 
they just so gorgeous i have a little molly family let me bring my my small town oh my gosh just look look at the gorgeousness in this color palette oh oh my gosh just look at that doesn't it make you happy don't these colors just make you happy Ugh. i don't think i paid much attention to the stitching on this bag before but that contrast stitching just look at that that's contrast stitching in white it just makes it look even more beautiful now let me look for um a charm to go so this is my these are my charms <laughs> and my molly 25 in violet orchid has a charm on it let me show you guys in case you didn't see um this charm was from last year spring collection last year um this one on my small town tote is just a regular classic charm from the outlet the horse and carriage so my new molly in waterfall deserves to have its own charm so let's look for something for this beauty mm, this would have been so good but it's let me turn you guys around this would have been good, but it has the gold hardware. I mean, it could still work. I don't mind mixing hardware, but maybe later in the summer, but not now. Um, I have actually never used this before. Yeah, but this would be perfect January, actually. I think January. I will use that in January. Oh, yes. Why did I not think about this before? This, I should have just gone for this right away. This is... I got this one um, last year in the summer on the Disney Wish. So it has all the elements from the Wish. So here it says Disney Cruise Line. And then it has purple and turquoise stones. And then it has pearls. Of course, they are full pearls and full stones. And then you have um, the Disney Cruise Line logo. You have a mermaid, a blue mermaid. She's very pretty. And then you have a blue starfish. Like that. So I think this will be perfect on here with that hint of purple. Okay, so there it is. I think it is perfect. Ah, it's so beautiful. This purple here kind of draws um, out the purple or the fuchsia that is inside the bag. I just... It's so pretty. I love it. Do you guys think it's too low? Um, or should I raise it up a bit? What do you think? Let me know. So, yeah, so I just attached it to this ball link chain. Um, I have a pack of these. I got them on Amazon. So I have gold and they have silver. They're 50 in a pack. And I will leave that linked below. It's um, on my Amazon storefront. So I'll leave that linked in the description box below. So yeah, very, very happy with my new purchase well guys i'll leave another video right here for you to go enjoy that is it for this month's vlog i hope we all had a great may long weekend and generally a great month of may wherever you are in the world thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and i will see you in this one bye